Now it's not hard to see that a lot of people right now are only in the gaming industry for money. The blatant money grabs are like out of this world at this point. And just when you thought that the current state of gaming couldn't get any more greedy, some corporate suit kids had to go and make it from sh to genuine hot sh And don't get me wrong, this year has been stellar for games. I mean, you have Spider-Man, the game, the movie, Basement Dwellers D&D Circle Jerk, Super Mario on Shrooms, and the one game where I swear no one played but literally sweeped the entire game awards. Oh, and how could I forget arguably the greatest game to ever grace this earth, Lego Fortnite. But we aren't here to talk about the good. Oh, no, sir. I'm a hater and I thrive off all things negativity. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but over the past few days, there's been some real nasty, evil little boogers trying to invade my gaming space and make one of my only escapes actual hell. Actually, that's a lie. Don't even know if I can consider myself a gamer anymore. Like, bro, no lie. I cannot sit my ass still to play a game for more than 30 minutes anymore without feeling like God's biggest loser because I'm not scripting, recording, or editing a video. Is this depression? Durag was showing my five here. That's crazy. Whoa, well, gotta cover that up. Anywho, there's a bit of shenanigans. Some may even say tomfoolery going around here, and Big Buf gotta let the streets know what's going on. These game devs may have single handedly over any double A or indie game company who wants to make a game with a decent sized scope going forward. That's right, folks. Today, I'm going to tell you guys a tale of some genuine kids who tried to fake it until they made it and then ultimately had the biggest fumble of all time. You guys fucked up, buddy. Hey, IRS, I know you'll be paying niggas for snitching. Hey, y'all need to investigate these guys right here. Call me Buf the Fed. Just run me my bread. I, hey, I don't care. I sing like a rat. But jokes aside, recently there's been a game being passed around called The Day Before. I was never really interested in it because it literally just looks like generic zombie survival game number 4,710. But I guess there's a market for everything because this became the most wishlisted game on Steam at one point. And the thing is, right, everything about it kind of just looked way too good to be true. And spoiler alert, it was. Now, the lead up to the release of this game was pretty epic. I mean, they literally just copied AAA game trailers one to one. And this wasn't once, not twice. I actually can't even count at this point how many times they were just caught in 4K. Welcome to the next generation of post-apocalyptic MMO open world survival games like never before. Welcome to the next generation of open world adventure. Each weapon boasts unique characteristics, as well as realistic reload and recoil mechanics. Each weapon has unique characteristics with realistic reload and recoil. Like, dude, this is just nuts. You can copy my homework, but for the love of God, please change this at least a little bit. And apparently early on in the development cycle, they had just forgotten to trademark the game as well. I'm not sure how you do that. I feel like that's kind of like, that's like the first thing you do when you when you make something, like you got a trademark it. And there was a whole issue with that because someone apparently had tried to sell them the trademark back to their own game, which people do, but I don't know, that just seems a little bit too convenient. Like this feels like they're pulling a neon and literally just staged this to buy themselves more time to develop the game or develop the game. And I say this because whenever the game was close to release, they decided, you know what? What if we decided to edge the gamers and delay the game again? And no lie, they did this like five times. Like, holy wow, y'all got yourselves into some deep, Doo doo caca. Now, with all that being said, right, people started to slowly look at this game, and be like, "Wait a second, is this game even real? Like, am I am I being am I being troll alone right now?" Oh. Especially when you step aside from all the obvious stuff and just look at the trailers alone. Everything that looked like gameplay was just staged to look like a car trailer. Like, how did they not get sued for that alone? But to everyone's surprise, especially on Twitter, the game dropped a couple days ago, and man, oh my God, the oh the internet Twitter the shreds dude like we've had bad games this year such like the Gollum game and that king kong game but this was just to a different level the gamers were fed up i have genuinely never seen a game get shit on as hard as this like people shat on this game and then got up and then took the game and wiped their ass with it. and it was for a reason the game was buggy the animations didn't work and the game that was shown in the trailer is not what the public received at all it was so bad that ign didn't even try to dick eat off of it and gave it a one you guys are gonna have to answer your own funny one-liner there i have no jokes this is what happens when they make me go into work like physically into work i feel like my soul being a <laughs> sucked out of my body and like i feel like i feel like a pixie right now from off the fairly I feel like I feel like I'm turning gray
Lord help me. Anyways, what made it even worse is that the actual gameplay that was shown in some of the trailers literally just wasn't even in the game. They had stuff like off-road vehicle physics, mounting and climbing buildings, and proximity chat that literally just wasn't even in the game when it launched. And keep in mind, this is supposed to be a tactical shooter based game. So like think Tarkov, but with like zombies in it. So imagine you get into an encounter and some guns you down, but you can't like speak it to the mic to tell them to chill out. So you have to smash your hand to the keyboard to beg them to leave you. <gasps> Beg them to leave you be. Holy wow, I gotta I gotta breathe more. That is sick work. I'd be hot as hell because I type so I'd be like halfway through the first word, then boom, his shot sent back to life. Ooh, I'd be pissed. So boom, four days go by, and I can't even lie, I didn't even see this coming. The development company behind the game, Fantastic, shuts down, and the game gets delisted from Steam abruptly. Apparently, they couldn't afford to keep the game running or something like that, but I'm not gonna lie to you, gang. You will literally know this before you launch the game. Like, and it's only been four days. Like, y'all already delayed the game, what, five times already? You know what they say five and above give it a shove you can just delay it again people want to play this game but instead of that they grab people's money turn the game servers on waited four whole days and then said you know what shut the company down whatever it is just throw it all up burn it all how do we uh, how do we even how do we even get to this point so the gamers catch one of this and i'm not even gonna lie angry gamers are like the last people that you ever want to fuck over because good lord they will crawl and fight tooth and nail to find every single detail and you over even harder as you beg for mercy and that is exactly what happened i mean just look at the discord i mean them, them boys is pissed and i can't even blame the players like this is a literal scam y'all lied multiple times to the players and showed no care in the world anyways game of rage led to the community doing a bit more digging and finding out that this game was quite literally just an asset flip which is essentially like taking a lego set pretend there's a lego putting the figurines in their designated places and say hey mommy look 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 i made this i made this i designed this whole thing i made this myself my brother in Christ, you bought the Legos and then put them in their respective assigned seats. You barely did shit. And when people called them out on Twitter and tried to fight back, they got the community notes of hell. I mean, the asset pack that they use is longer than all the Star Wars scripts combined. They, they really did not make a single thing in this game, dude. I'm crying. Yo, what? Now, luckily, the dev slash investors of the game did come forward with this announcement, pretty much saying that they're going to be giving out complete refunds to those who pay for the game. And to no one's surprise, the replies to the fans that actually wanted to to play the game shows how much they never care yeah sorry dude shit kind of happens man don't know what to tell you but i do want to set the record straight that i don't believe they actually received a single penny from this game especially seeing as though steam pays devs out on the 30th of the month from my understanding they do it like twitch and youtube where they kind of hold your money in a pot until the net payday and since it's like the 12th of the month right now no one got paid on top of that seeing as though the game got delisted a measly four days after releasing and they're giving out full complete refunds investors are taking a nasty loss here there is no offset to pay the investors back me personally i subscribe to the game theory that the ceos of the company took the investor capital and just fucked around for like three years and said oh shit wait we were supposed to be making a game with this capital and another little fishy thing that i'm seeing right now is that the devs are going around to their old games and swapping the company names so i don't know man there's definitely something going on here I, I, I just can't call it though but a big thing that i'm not seeing a lot of people talk about here is how this will affect other smaller indie game devs trying to make a larger scope game like i said earlier i'm literally already seeing the effects of this now like they royally fucked this scene up for anyone else making indie games and have made the indie game dev digital footprint damn near worse than speeds i hope this doesn't deter people from actually checking out other stuff man because like this this is really sad if you really think about it this is really bad for other devs anyways i just wanted to hop on here and just talk about this because i kind of found it interesting and i cannot escape this on twitter plotting on having another video out for y'all this week maybe about one of those kick streamers or whatever else i may find if you've got any ideas let me know down in the comments my bad for dropping the ball last week i am literally kicking myself in the ass i had so much stuff to do i wish i was able to do a video but i gotta go get this edited so i can get started on the next video so with that being said make sure you guys like the video if you liked it subscribe because you made this far into the video and you clearly like me check out all my socials link below and i'm out of here man love y'all be safe peace peace